What's up everybody, Prepared Guy here once again and today we're taking a look at the Wubin X1 Falcon. Upon unboxing, you'll find the manual, a C-type charging cable, a heavy-duty lanyard, and a really nice nylon holster, and of course, the light itself. The X1 Falcon is made of aluminum alloy, is IP55 water-resistant, and has an impact rating of 1 meter and weighs just over 13 ounces or just under 400 grams. I'll leave the tech specs from the manual on the screen now just in case I leave out any details, so pause the video here to see those details. During my runtime test in the 12,000 lumen turbo mode, the X1 ran for one minute before stepping down to the 3,000 lumen mode and then stayed at that output until the battery became completely depleted for a total runtime of one hour and 59 minutes. During my thermal test in the 12,000 lumen turbo mode, the X1 reached a max thermal output of 118 degrees Fahrenheit or 47 degrees Celsius after just one minute. And during my recharge time test using my 65 watt generic PD charger, the X1 took two hours to fully recharge from completely depleted. Now let's take a quick tour of the modes and general operation of the Wubin X1 Falcon. All right, guys, now we're gonna go into the modes and general operation. Clearly, this is a really unique looking light. It looks like a stormtrooper, to be honest with you. It's pretty neat. Body of the light, you have your major button here, turn off and on the light. And over here, you have your uh, C-type charging port, and that's what the C-type charging port's gonna look like. It doesn't come with an extra rubber flap here, so uh, don't lose it, don't break it. Over here, you also have a heat sink. On the opposite side of the heat sink, you have a fan. This is where the batteries go, and there are four screws on the bottom, and you can replace the 21700 batteries that are in here, um, but I don't know if it voids the warranty or not, so I'm just, I'm not gonna do that in this video. You have your Cree in tandem, LEDs in the front here and then at the back over here you have a couple screws for a bicycle mount um, Also, you have your little lanyard hole right there. So pretty decent body looks really cool feels really cool It's not that heavy. Let's listen to the fan because it does have an internally cooling fan to keep the light nice and cool So you're gonna double tap this. We're gonna wait a second And as you can see this is what the fan sounds like. It's not that loud, and then you can just turn it right off, and the fan shuts itself off. The basic operation, you have your eco mode, hold the button down, it goes to eco mode, hold it down, it will cycle right through. And then if you wanted to go into the uh, turbo mode from the low mode, just click, double click it. If you wanted to go into the eco mode while it's off, does have a lockout mode, one, two, three, four. It lets you know that it's locked out by flashing and now you're locked out. One, two, three, four, again, now you are unlocked. There are some cool modes as well. It does have a customizable ramping mode for every single one of the modes. So if you wanted to, um, I'm gonna put the range right up on the screen now. It says programmable modes and the following corresponding gears, click once plus a long press. So basically you turn the light on, okay? And you're gonna press it one and a half times. And on the second time, you're gonna hold it. You're gonna notice it ramps up, it flashes, and then it slowly ramps back down and then flashes. What that just did there was I'm in the eco mode. I went from 20 lumens all the way up to 400 lumens. It flashed once it got to the top and then it went all the way back down, flashed again when it got to the bottom. I went from 20 lumens to 400 lumens and you can customize that. So say I wanted to put this in like one and a half presses, it's gonna ramp up a little bit, say that's about 200 lumens there. Now my low mode or my eco mode, whenever I turn the light on, is going to be that 200 lumen mode instead of the 20 lumen mode, I have that dynamic range where I can customize now my outputs. So say I wanted to go into the eco mode just by holding it down, I'm always gonna be 200 lumens now. So I wanna change that. All I have to do is one and a half presses, let it ramp through again, goes all the way up, goes all the way back down to 20 lumens, flashes, and there we are. Turn the light off, press and hold it down. That's our eco mode again, 20 lumens. 
Now say I cycled through all the different lumen outputs and I, I messed them up and I don't remember which lumen outputs which for which mode. All I have to do to reset the programmable modes is go into lockup mode, one, two, three, four. We're in lockup mode. And now what I'm gonna do is gonna go one, one, two, one, two, three. And that's all reset. It's reprogrammed all the modes. So now they're back in factory settings. Pretty cool, pretty reasonable, pretty nice overall light. Also, if you wanted to access the strobe mode, all you have to do is one, two, three, that's strobe mode, and then one, two, three again while it's in strobe mode to go into the SOS mode, and then you just press the button to turn the light off. I'm gonna take this outside now and show you guys what it looks like in the real world. The X1 Falcon has a max beam distance of 303 meters or 994 feet in the 12,000 lumen turbo mode. It also has a max candela of 23,000 CD, and there's also three Cree XHP 70.2 LEDs with a color tint that ranges from 5,500K to 5,800K. So now we're outside with the X1 Falcon and I'm going to throw this into the low 20 lumen mode. This is 20 lumen mode. We're 20 feet away from the railing in front of us. Now we're gonna step it up to the 400 lumen mode. This is the 400 lumen mode. I'm gonna step it up again to the 1,000 lumen mode. And now we're gonna step it up again to the 2600 lumen mode. And now I'm gonna jump it in to the 12,000 lumen mode, which is scorchingly bright, washing out the camera. Now let's go over to the railing and check it out in the yard. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump this into the low 20 lumens. This is 20 lumens. Can't really see that far out in front of us right here. I'm gonna step it up right now to the 400 lumens. Now you can really start seeing out there into the tree line. That tree line is about 75 feet away. I'm gonna step it up again to the 1000 lumens. This is what the 1000 lumens looks like. And now we're gonna jump up again to the 2600 lumens. Now you can actually see everything in the yard there, all the way out into that tree line there. Now let's, let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see what I'm seeing here. Not bad, you can actually see that tree over there, about 50 feet, the tree line behind it, it's about another 25 feet. So that's 75 feet distance there. And now I'm gonna jump this up into the 12,000 lumens and look at that 12,000 lumen mode. Boom, you can see everything up in that tree line up there. Look at all the way up there. And go all the way over the yard to back that way. Go all the way in the yard this way. And this is what it looks like. And you can start to hear the fan a little bit because it's on the 12,000 lumen mode. And this is what it's gonna sound like. Not too bad, guys. This is really, really bright. I'll turn it off. And you can see it's total darkness out there. And I'm gonna put it on 12,000 lumens again. Crazy amount of bright. Just crazy. This is just ridiculous. One, two, three. That is the 3,000 lumen strobe. And then one, two, three. The 200 lumen SOS mode. I like the strobe better. My pros and cons are as follows. First, the pros. Honestly, this thing is bright and I really loved the nylon holster that came with it and I never really compliment a flashlight company's holsters because most of them are super generic, but this one was actually pretty nice and it made for an overall excellent holster experience. I could actually picture myself using it instead of just tossing it in a draw somewhere like I do with 95% of the other holsters that you see on this channel. As far as cons go, I wish they made it so that you can access the batteries without all the drama of having to unscrew the housing. It's like Wubin made it so that you can actually change the batteries with some effort, but they also gave us the impression that it might void the warranty in doing so with this vague and ominous warning on the housing door opening. So which is it? Can the average Joe just change the batteries without voiding the warranty or not? And the shorter answer is nope, don't do it. You'll definitely void the warranty. However, after the one year warranty's up, feel free to pop that sucker up and then just change the batteries like a normal person. Plus, the X1 Falcon only comes with a one-year warranty, so chances are by the time that you need to actually open the housing and change the batteries, it's going to be out of warranty anyway, so bottom line and the takeaway from this is the X1 Falcon's performance and quality is well worth the investment, especially if you're into search and rescue. Its design is quite solid, and to me it feels like probably one of the toughest lights I currently own, and it's more than likely going to be able to take a beating and keep on going. With that said, the Woman X1 Falcon retails for 
for just $199 at regular price on the Wubin website. However, it will be going on sale very soon, so keep an eye out for that. And if you'd like to save some money when there's no sale, you can use my promotional code PREPAREDGUY to save an additional 10% off of your purchase on the Wubin website. I'll leave a link down in the description. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. This has been Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.